and welcome to Sunny TV, where it's always sunny, even when it's raining, because I'm here, your host, Sunny. Today, we've infiltrated the Tea Party. We're going to find out what they're up to. Maybe we'll get a scoop and find out where their next target is. Tell me where your next target is. <clears throat> I don't know. Is it this Capitol building? No. Is that why you're all here today? <laughs> no. You know, you know you're going to leave a big bomb behind you? I found a Ron Paul supporter, which you can find at a tea party. And his sign is, the IRS is the Gestapo. Now, are you comparing Obama to Hitler? You have a sign that says, capitalists make money, socialists take money. Isn't it the other way around? Um, if you oppose the president and he's black, that's racist. Well, who is John Galt? Well, if you want to know who John Galt is, you need to read Atlas Shrugged. Do I really have to? Yes, you have to. I'm standing here with another Tea Partier, and uh, why are you here? To stand up for liberty, for freedom, and the greatest country ever conceived by man. So, what does your sign say? It says individual liberty and free markets, two sides of the same coin. Isn't that racist? No. Individual liberty is for is against Obama's policies. See, racism. You can tell me what you're going to bomb next. I won't tell anybody. Oh, I, I don't even own a gun. I'm not a very. I'm, 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 I'm so you're not. against gun ownership. I'm not. I think the Tea Partiers are are bringing people to uh, focus on some of the crazy stuff that's going on in the world. That sounds racist. <laughs> I think that the income tax is completely wrong in this country. We should not be taxed on how much money we make. There you have it, evidence of racism at the Tea Party. We're trying to find out what your next target is to bomb. Um, we don't really bomb anything. Uh You're here with your son, I noticed. And don't you think it's irresponsible to try to counter all the socialist propaganda he's getting in school, which is so good for him? He gets the environmentalism and all the good stuff at school, right? Yeah, but I know it's hard to understand that he should be able to keep the money he earns. He's too little to earn money. That's child labor. There is a black, very important looking car behind me. I think Herman Cain's in it. If he is... I'm going to confront my harasser. I don't want to relive the bad memories of being harassed by Herman Cain through the television. But he's here, and I may as well take the opportunity to get his comment about that on tape, on the record. So we'll see what we can do. We're here with a minority. It's the first minority I've seen at the tea party. and I. So are you also here as a spy? Uh, yes, I am. I want you to help take back America. Uh, where did you get the outfit? Made it. Betsy you Ross. You made this? Betsy Ross helped make this. That is so cool. That's, you know, handmade stuff is good. When we all go back to, you know, primitive society, with when we roll back that industrial revolution, somebody will have to sew the clothes. This is made with 100% real cotton. Isn't that racist? Get out and vote and bring a friend with them when they come. The vote. That's a good message. Just get out the vote. Absolutely. And vote for Obama. And bring your ID when you vote, too. That's racist. Do you hear these people yelling in the background? They just, these tea partiers, they're just yellers. They scream and yell and demand things. I like your sign. I made a video that talked about the need for a habitat for Hamas so that we could build mosques for the Muslims. And you're here advocating Habitat for Humanity, which I did not expect to find at the Tea Party. I'm standing here with a candidate for office so we can really get to the bottom of the terrorism and the racism in the Tea Party. Every employee should have an opportunity to determine as to whether or not they want to pay for um, the union dues. Employee freedom, since it really only applies to the white man, isn't that racist? It really has nothing to do with um, racism but whatsoever. It's, it's, a, it's a freedom issue. Well, if, if just everybody worked for the public unions, then it would be okay, wouldn't it? You know, that, that really doesn't make any sense at all. You look like you're wearing a nice blouse here, too, like a kind of a 
revolutionary outfit. Exactly right. I believe in, I believe in the uh, uh, founding fathers. I believe in the Constitution. Doesn't that make you a terrorist? Uh, the founding fathers, they tarred and feathered people, and today that would be terrorism. Yeah, you know, we don't do that anymore. Does this pin here say racist? Uh, this pin here says Aquaman. Well, thanks for tuning in. That's it because it's cold and rainy and it's finally raining on Sunny TV even though I'm here. Your host, Sunny. I'm for gun ownership. But you don't own a gun? That's true. I'm for people being able to buy sauerkraut too and I don't eat any sauerkraut. That was a good point. <laughs> it gets freaking cold. It's raining and chilly. This is what you need to read, Sonny. This book right here. I don't read. 